Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. I haven't filmed in so, so long. It's been like a month. So bear with me while I kind of get back into the flow of even speaking on camera. It feels really weird. And this is the most I've got dressed up in that whole time. So anyway, you are welcome. I got dressed up for you guys. And I'm also vlogging behind the scenes of this video as well. And my phone went off. My brother just had an operation. So I'm just keeping an eye on my phone. But anyway, so this video is going to be about being triggered because I have been experiencing this a lot. I mean, kind of throughout my whole life, but especially the past, mm, my whole life. <laughs> I was going to say more like the past few weeks, but not really. I feel like it's always happened and it happens to a lot of people is that we get triggered by other people's perceptions, other people's words, other people's actions, just everything. I mean, you can literally go on social media, scroll down the feed and get triggered by the most randomest shit. So it happens to all of us all the time. And I want to talk about how to not stop it from happening, but just how to change the way you react to things, because we can't change the way people behave. And even kind of like the situations we witness and stuff, sometimes you can't avoid the fact that you're going to witness it but we can change how we react to it how we choose to respond so I want to talk about triggering because I've come to realize in myself that when we are triggered we're not in our power in the sense that oftentimes we're not really walking in our truth or standing firmly in it like sometimes you know what your truth is you know who you are you know what you want and all of those kind of things but then somebody else can say something that kind of opposes how you view things or even opposes how you intended something to be like they could take it the wrong way or something and that can cause us to feel so triggered because we feel like we need to either explain ourselves or like when it comes to your power and your personal truth sometimes people are triggering you because you're not fully standing in it or not fully like confident in your truth and in who you are if that makes sense so this has happened to me a lot a lot a lot even more recently um i won't delve into every kind of like personal experience but it's even happened um through my business like through everything that I'm doing online and stuff, I've had certain things happen that would trigger me and make me kind of question myself and my path, question my intent, question like what I'm even doing and why I'm doing it and stuff, you know, when it comes to what I'm putting out there and the music that I want to make, the quality of it, like a lot of unworthiness can come up and stuff, especially when you're triggered by something, it can usually stem from a feeling of unworthiness or like self-doubt and those kind of things. So I've really come to realize that it's actually about really getting comfortable in your authentic truth. Because once you are so secure in yourself, what other people say and do will not be able to shift you out of that. It won't be able to make you doubt that because you'll be so secure in it and so sure of it that even when you kind of feel sad or feel like whatever kind of emotion comes up in that triggering even if it makes you feel a little bit low it you're not going to believe it do you know what I mean and sometimes I really would believe it and people would say things and I would just like swallow that whole mirror and take it on as my own as if that's the truth of who I am but really only we individually know our own truth so it's really a case of actually getting to know that and learning to love that and learning to accept that this is who you are, that this is your body for this lifetime, that this is the way that you look, this is the way that your life is, these are the circumstances that you were born into, you know, like just accepting all of those things about your life and then working towards elevating and transforming the parts of yourself that you're not happy with or that you know you could do better in and just really being comfortable in your own skin I guess is kind of like the key foundation of life and sometimes we get triggered because we're not we're not comfortable in our skin we're not 
accepting of who we are and we wish that we could be something else or that we had something else you know especially when it comes to um lifestyle and things like that or success you can see that online or even relationship goals you can see all of those things and it can instantly put you in lack mentality because you feel like you don't have it you're not good enough to get it you're never going to achieve it and those kind of things and all of that is a trigger so we have to be able to work through those wounds to understand the belief that we actually hold around that particular subject so that we can start to reprogram those beliefs. And for me, I feel like the foundation of our belief system really starts with our sense of self not just our sense of self individually but also collectively so like the idea of oneness and just really come into terms with both of those i guess it's like corresponding duality thingies as above so below you know like coming to accept both of those um laws or truths as being real at the same time and then yeah just learning to love yourself I guess but obviously this is a long process and a lifelong journey and stuff so it's not like you're just gonna flick a switch and just be there or anything but it's just something to be aware of is the fact that if you want to change your beliefs and if you want to stop getting triggered by certain things the like best place to start with that is your sense of self it's your relationship with yourself how much time you spend with yourself just allowing yourself to be who you are you know and also getting to know who you are and learning to embrace that and accept that and almost like that in a way <laughs> so yeah i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for listening on the podcast apps and watching on youtube i really appreciate you i am going to be back to regular uploads now so i'm doing four series over two weeks so this podcast will go up every two weeks on a tuesday and i will see you in the next episode don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music my phone number my social media one-to-one -one sessions and my jewelry brand and i will see you in the next video bye oh, yeah, Thinking like me, yeah, I'm icy, cooling in a white tea. Oh, yeah, I think it might. I'm not thinking like me, my range all white. Oh, yeah, I think it might. I'm not thinking like me, my range all white.